How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. So last night, the last couple episodes have been fairly eventful. We had the base attack, we raided the outsider UFO, the temple ships showed up, we began psionic we testing. We need to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. Let's see here. Here we go. Nice. Let's do that. Improved pistol three I've been wanting to do. And let's do advanced construction. And from here, I guess it hardly matters. Let's just start pulling plaid projects. You can do them all. Just do them. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Put in the gallop chamber. I guess we're going to need one more power generator. We almost got enough for our last mech suit upgrade. Psy armor. We've reached a point in our research of the alien psionic abilities and their associated cybernetic implants that we're confident enough to begin preliminary tests of this technology on human subjects. Although the system we'll have in mind will ha require the use of a lightweight armor suit with reduced defensive capabilities, this Psy armor should more than compensate by providing a significant boost to our soldiers' psionic abilities. It is our hope that bolstering these abilities within our soldiers will provide new insights as we seek to discover the source of the alien's collective consciousness. We still don't fully understand the link between the visible psionic abilities we've seen exhibited by the aliens and their use of psionics as a means of communication. I believe it's very likely we'll find a way to activate the ethereal device if we can successfully fabricate this armor. Psy Armor, our most powerful armored suit, this equipment serves to amplify the wearer's psionic abilities through a system modeled after the alien's own cybernetic implants. However, it should be noted, this armor can only be equipped by a soldier found to have psionic abilities. And we have no new research to do. Ship Plasma's done. Nice, mech close combat is done. We've got another transmission coming in from the Council. Go to the Situation Room. The surviving Exalt operative has provided additional intel on the location of our missing transport vehicle, and not a moment too soon. It appears the aliens have cornered the truck on a dam in eastern France. If we're going to recover the cargo, we'll need to ask fast. Excellent. Well, this we is going to be intriguing to because we have uh, half of Squad 2 in psionics testing still. Um, I was hoping they'd be done by now. Let's see here. We've got... Carlos Carlos is out. Not. Drakton is still wounded, so actually, uh... Squad 2 is, uh, hardly in shape to perform this assault. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead, we'll run Squad 3, and then next mission we'll go back to Squad 2. So, Squad 3, Travis Bach, Mahizo Winslow, Daniela Proto, Jammin' Dude, Ogmord Axiom, and the Tormentor himself, Mifatsu. And the next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to... Uh, oh, oh, return to editing squad. Hopefully, next episode, we will be able to return. The electric force model allows the mech to disable nearby robotic enemies and electrocute organic bombs. To squad two and bring him back out. So let's go. I 
pick squad too because they were the furthest down the way from going out again. And go figure. France is sending an urgent mission request. The transport is stopped on a dam in France. It's likely the aliens have sabotaged the structure. They clearly consider this transport to be high value. Expect substantial opposition. Let's see what we got. Ooh, the dam's leaking. That's a bad sign. It looks like the transport came under attack while attempting to cross that dam. Judging from the damage, the aliens must have strafed the entire area trying to slow the truck down. If they want this thing that badly, there's no telling what else they might send in to try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before they do. Open by the bypass valves to delay the dam's collapse. Locate the transport vehicle carrying the hijacked weapon. Headed there now. I'm not going to do overwatches just yet. I guess that's the first valve. Aye, aye, Commander. My guess is, is that they're probably going to be on this side, because that's where... You no, know, the water's flowing this way. This looks like this is going to be a good map for airborne snipers. So let's get Ahi in the air. And you can just... switch to pistol for now. Fatu. Rolling out. On the move. Anybody else can watch? Nothing that round. has already taken heavy damage, but it looks like we can delay the collapse if we open the bypass valves positioned along the way to the transport. That valve is running wide open, but we still need to secure the truck before it's too late. Okay, so that one's clear. So we do have one at the top of that tower there. Let's move... Daniela Proto Running. can get up there. And then next round she can open that one. Jamming dude. Okay. Hostile aircraft moving in the vicinity of Strike One's position. It looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Let's see what we got. Sectoid. 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 Mectoid. La cible verrouillée n'a subi aucun dégât. Muton. Muton. Shot Agi. Okay, Daniela Proto will take it out first. Let's open that. Not done yet. Keep moving, strike one. Everything's on overwatch, so let's You only got a shot on the mechtoid, so go ahead and take that. Dude. You go ahead and get that dude. 
missed. Didn't help. His a uh, 42 on him, 44 on him. You have lightning reflexes. That's wait. There's too much of a watch. Travis Bach. Damage in the zone pops. And another one down. Now Mahizo with your lightning reflexes. That's affirmative. I'm all right. With enemy troops. And we got a pair of thin men in the map. Like they have light plasmas. They're repositioning on us. No longer a threat. On the move. Four damage. Three damage. Aki, go ahead, take the cross map shot. Very nice. Fatsu, fifty three from there. Now. Get you just a little closer. Still only 53. Well, I tried to make it better. Nice. Daniela? I'm on it, Commander. You can't see. Jamming dude. Already there. Travis Bach. Shiva. You need to reload. Je suis prêt. You know, that's right, we picked off the other one with Agni. Running. You come on up to get this valve. Jamming dude. Good to go. Let's see if you trip anything. No. Come on up to this cover. Okay, we're gonna dash. Already there. Augie, you're gonna stay right where you're at. I thought to. Running. Good work, Strike Well, that'll buy you some time to get to the truck. Rolling out. Dash you up into this truck. Eyes on target. We've got another pair of thin men. Oh, Agi can't shoot them. 
Guess we're gonna have to bring you forward or something. Six. That's a miss. Damn, missed the target. She grabs Bach. I'm gonna pop that one. Skadoosh. Looks like the aliens are sending in reinforcements, Commander. More incoming. Travis Bach takes two. Gets a free reaction shot. Scadoosh. Vaporizes a thin. What do we got? Mectoid. Sectoid. Sectoid. That's it? Well, that's easy enough. Let's see here. He has low cover. You have no cover. You have low cover? Yeah. Let's let Jammin' Dude pop the Mectoid one first. for an in-the-zone free shot, and pop Mr. Sectoid. Hurrah! the other street on the On my way. Let's make sure, is there a valve I'm missing somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Let's move Mahizo up first. On the move. And then Daniela, you can move okay. up and heal him. Man up and get back out there. Hostiles are inbound, Commander. There's a muton. Another muton. Reaction fire. That one didn't make it. I guess neither of them made it. No, one made it. Why couldn't we see him? It's odd. Now, oh, well, he misses reaction that fire. That looks like least. our target. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole place goes down. Objective updated. Missed. Negative damage. Yellow proto. On my way. You try to take him out. 
six damage. Jamming dude. Moving out. Guess that means he's all yours. You can't see from there. That does not help me. It's killing time. Hizzo. You should move. be able to see him from here because you're flanked. 64%. Oh crap, he's gonna get a shot Commander, off. Commander, we've got fresh contacts approaching the area. Watch the flanks! They're moving! Ouch. Sectoid. Sectoid. Reaction shot from Primus Lock. Mectoid. Nice kill. Mectoid. Okay. Where's Hagi? Go for a headshot on Mr. Mectoid. Eight damage. Jim, dude. You finish this guy off. Mizzo. Mifatsu. Did you finish Mr. Mech? Oh, you missed. Burning through ammo fast. Target still up. Try again. You missed again. Well, the Mechtoid's much more of a threat than the Sectoid. So, Daniela, can you finish it off? Oh, one damage. Almost. So this is gonna probably hurt. Ow. That's it. Free reaction shot, you're dead. At least that means he doesn't get his second attack. And he blew up a car when he fell. And sectoids can't shoot. And y'all will get rid of them. Okay, let's make for the landing zone. Aye, aye, Commander. Hizzo, you need to reload. Heading out. We're green to go. Let's go ahead and dash track the spot into the zone. Moving. You have no ammo. Okay, it looks like this is going to be everybody needs to make it. So let's get out of down. Location confirmed. Nope, but it's just two needed to make it.
Please. You... You don't understand. I have to get to the others. You can't. I... You don't get it. Do you know how many of us they killed? You... You can kill them? But ow! Please, you have to help me find the others! Interesting! Great work out there, Commander. It looks like the weapon everyone was after may be even more valuable than we thought. Very interesting! doesn't get much cleaner than that. Not a single casualty. Impressive work. Two new colonels. Daniela Proto. And Mefatu. And we had only 20 more mil. That's disappointing. We safely recovered Annette Durand from both Exalt and the aliens, but she's already indicated that there may be more civilians of interest in the invaders' custody. We'll debrief her and see if we can locate them as well. Incidentally, she has expressed an interest in training as an ex operative. We will be in touch, Commander. This captive we recovered from the aliens, Annette, was apparently passed off to them by the Exalt organization. So far, she's been less than forthcoming about how she wound up in their control, or what makes her so valuable that they'd pursue her to this extent. Whatever the case, we need to keep a close eye on her. Well, she's a sniper. Well, despite the fact that she was obviously showing gene mods, she doesn't seem to have any. So, uh, we'll just leave her be for now. And we will wrap another episode up. I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you may have in the comments below as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time in another episode of Let's Play XCOM, Enemy Within. Farewell.